The efficiency and reliability of battery charging for devices are paramount, especially for portable electronics, such as cell phones and laptops. This video will explore the fundamentals of battery charging and battery charger ICs, a technology that powers our daily lives. At the heart of this technology are lithium-ion chargers, which regulate battery charging current and voltage. These chargers ensure that the high energy densities, voltage, and currents that lithium-ion batteries are capable of are harnessed safely and efficiently. However, lithium-ion batteries must be charged with a specific constant current and constant voltage charge profile that is automatically adjusted depending on the battery's temperature and voltage levels. Understanding the charging profile of a lithium-ion battery is key. This profile outlines how voltage and current vary during charging, ensuring optimal performance and safety. Charging profiles can be organized as a graph showing time on the x-axis and battery voltage and charge on the y-axis, which offers insight into how to optimally charge a battery. This example shows the charging profile for the MP2759A, a highly integrated switching charger designed for applications with one cell to six cell series lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries. There are five common phases for a lithium ion battery charging profile, trickle charge, pre-charge, constant current fast charge, constant voltage charge, and charge termination. First is the trickle charge phase, ensuring a gentle reintroduction of power when the battery voltage is very low, typically less than 2.1 volts. In this state, the battery pack's internal protection IC may have disconnected the battery due to it being deeply discharged or an overcurrent event. The charger IC sources a small current, typically 50 milliamps, to charge the battery pack's capacitance, which triggers the protection IC to reconnect the battery. Although trickle charging usually lasts for a matter of seconds, the charger IC should integrate a timer that stops charging if the battery pack is not reconnected within a certain amount of time, as this indicates that the battery has been damaged. Following this, the pre-charge stage prepares the battery, the charger starts to safely charge the depleted battery with a low current, and the battery voltage slowly rises. This prevents damage to the cell until its voltage reaches a higher level. Once the battery has reached about 3 volts per cell, it is safe for the battery to handle higher charge currents. At this point, the constant current, or CC, phase takes over, rapidly charging the battery up to a significant portion of its capacity. CC charging continues until the battery voltage has reached the full or floating voltage level. As the battery approaches full charge, the constant voltage, or CV, phase maintains the battery voltage at a safe threshold, ensuring no overcharge. To guarantee safe operation, the charger IC must not allow the battery voltage to exceed its maximum floating voltage. CV charging begins once the external battery pack voltage seen by the charger IC exceeds the actual battery cell voltage in the pack. This is due to the internal cell resistance, PCB resistance, and the equivalent series resistance from the protection fed and cell. The CV threshold for lithium cells is usually between 4.1 volts and 4.5 volts per cell. Finally, the charge termination phase signifies the completion of charging and helps safeguard against over charging and prolong battery life. The charger IC terminates the charge cycle when the current going into the battery drops below a set threshold during the CV phase, at which point the battery is considered fully charged. If charge termination is disabled, the charge current naturally decays to 0 milliamps. However, this is rarely implemented because the charge going into the battery exponentially decreases during CV charging, and it would take significantly longer to recharge the battery with very little increase in capacity. The actual charge current at any moment may be lower than what is set due to loop regulations, such as the input current limit, input voltage limit, thermal regulation, or battery temperature. For those in a hurry, fast charging capabilities offer a swift power boost, adapting to the battery's needs without compromising safety. With fast charging, it is critical to determine how much current the battery cells can handle. A battery C rating specifies the maximum current at which the battery is charged and discharged, typically between 0.5C and 3C with trade-offs between a higher C rating and lower energy density. For example, a 3000 mAh battery with a 1C rating means that the battery can be charged at a maximum of 3 amps. Usually, the cell manufacturer also specifies different voltage and temperature ranges for the C rating, where the rating is reduced at lower voltages and both higher and lower temperatures. A battery with a higher C rating can handle more current, and can therefore be charged more quickly. This is why higher C rated batteries have become popular in portable devices, such as smartphones and laptops. The charger IC topology is another key element. The most common topologies are linear chargers and switching chargers, with the latter including buck, boost, and buck boost chargers. Each topology is suited to different applications and requirements. Linear chargers, with their simplicity and cost-effectiveness, are ideal for smaller, portable Internet of Things devices such as smartwatches and Bluetooth earbuds. These chargers reduce noise because there is no switching, but higher charge currents lead to higher power dissipation, which is limited by the package size. The MP2662 is a highly integrated, 
linear lithium ion, lithium polymer battery charger with power path management that is ideal for portable applications. In its ultra compact 1.75 mm by 1.75 mm package, the MP2662 can take power from either an AC adapter or a USB port and autonomously determines whether it should be powered by the input, the battery, or both. An integrated I2C interface also allows the device to be configured for various safety features. Switching chargers, on the other hand, excel in efficiency at medium to high currents thanks to their adaptable design. However, switching chargers also require an inductor and more capacitors, which can increase cost, complexity, and take up more PCB space. Switching chargers are often used for high-density applications with larger batteries or that need higher efficiency for fast charge capabilities, such as smartphones, tablets, notebooks, and power banks. There are three primary types of switching chargers, buck, boost, and buck boost chargers, which can regulate the output above or below the input. When choosing a switching charger, consider the input voltage range and the battery pack voltage range to determine the most suitable switching charger topology. Buck chargers step down the voltage, perfect for when the input voltage exceeds the battery's needs. The MP2721 is a buck charger that provides a low impedance power path to optimize charging efficiency, reduce battery charging time, and extend battery life. This device supports USB battery charging specification 1.2 and non-standard adapter detection. The MP2721I2C interface can configure parameters, such as the output voltage, switching frequency, charge current, input current limit, safety timers, and die temperature regulation. Boost chargers do the opposite, stepping up the voltage for cases where the input falls short of the battery's requirements. This type of charger is only implemented for applications requiring up to 15 watts, as a buck boost charger is required for higher power demands. Using a boost charger for multi-cell applications with lower power demands can save costs by eliminating the need for additional components, such as a USB PD controller. The MP2672A is a flexible, switch-mode boost charger IC for lithium-ion batteries with two cells in series, which makes it well-suited for portable applications such as point-of-sale systems and Bluetooth speakers. It features a cell balancing function, robust protection features, and two configuration modes, standalone mode and host control mode. Buck boost chargers are the most versatile, capable of adjusting the voltage up or down as needed, ensuring compatibility across a wide range of devices. This makes fast charging possible across a variety of conditions, without requiring a larger package size. Buck boost chargers can deliver high power across the complete PD voltage range, while also offering backwards compatibility with 5 volt legacy USBs. The MP2760 is a compact, optimized buck boost charger that features narrow voltage DC power path management and USB on the go or USB PD source mode. USB PD source mode allows USB devices to act as a power source so that other USB devices can be charged from it. The MP2760 is ideal for battery packs with 1 cell to 4 cells in series, and integrates 4 switching FETs and 2 in-channel MOSFET drivers. In the vast realm of battery charging, understanding the nuances of how charging profiles and topologies affect your system and the specifications of your battery will allow you to determine the best options for your application, opening the door to harnessing full device potential safely and efficiently. To learn more about these solutions or our other battery management products, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.